Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's tech tip from Struxoft Solutions Great Tech Group. My name is Hannah, and today we're going to talk about how to create a floor truss, shop drawing, and bill of material. Over here, I have an empty project and I just have a floor. So I created a floor using Revit. This floor is going to be the host of the floor truss that we're going to create. Over here, uh, I'm in MWF Pro Suite, uh, but this can also be achieved in Pro Metal, Pro Suite, and Advanced Metal. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to switch to the floor module. I'm going to create a floor truss. The template I'm going to use is this one right here. You can use back-to-back -back trusses as well, but for the, this example, I'm using LGS, floor trusses, wall truss, and I'm going to frame it now and click Create. We've just created a floor truss, floor panel one, and because this is not the direction that I want, I'm just going to select uh, the floor uh, panel direction arrow. I'm going to use Revit Rotate, and I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. And I'm going to regenerate. Perfect. So this is actually what I wanted to achieve. So now before we create a shop drawing, I just want to emphasize that MWF is going to create this truss by creating assemblies. These are actually all the same assembly being repeated. This is to make life easier and to make your model much, much lighter. It's actually one assembly. And when you create a shop drawing, uh, you're just going to create a shop drawing for one of them. And by the way, they all have the same name. Okay. So this is how uh, the trust um, module works. To create a trust, uh, trust shop drawing, we're going to actually have to switch from the floor module. In the floor module, you'll be creating floor shop drawings using the shop drawings engine over here. But because this is a truss, it's a floor truss, we're going to actually have to switch to the truss module. And we're going to be using the tools over here. So to create a shop drawing uh, for this floor panel or for this truss, we're going to use the shop drawing engine over here in the truss module. So we have to select one assembly. It's going to generate a shop drawing for this assembly and basically, basically it's going to apply for everything because it's all using the same assembly. So we select one member of the truss and then we hit shop drawings. We're going to get this dialog box that we're going to explore a little bit. You can create a new folder. You just enter a name. Uh, this is the trust drawing options. You can actually duplicate this and call it uh, something else if you like. Uh, you can just hit, uh, hit generate to create a shop drawing and you can also click on edit. And that's what we're going to do in a second. You can import or export and you can overwrite. Let's uh, just click on edit and make a few adjustments. Here, uh, the measurement is feet. The direction, we're going to see it either from the front or the back. The, the view prefix is going to be called MWF. I'm just going to keep the default, but you can make changes. The scale I'm going to use is this one over here, and you can use a custom one. The options are to create a truss bill of material and a truss framing elevation. Let's start with the elevation. The selected sheet is going to be sheet one. Let's start with the truss framing elevation. Let's double click and it's gonna take you to another dialog box. Here you have the option to display dimensions or not. The dimension properties, you can add a line gap, a slope gap from the line. This is where you pick the dimension style. If you wanna have vertical dimensions or not, dimension alignment, dimension position, and dimension style. You can add ordinate dimension for each dimension line, and you can pick the type 
you can display the length. And if you want to place it above or below, this is where you specify. You can display the label. This is optional. And when you tick this, these are actually um, changeable. The text note type, I'm going to use this one. The label orientation, I will keep it horizontal. The label positioning is going to be center. The label method is either by label or by schedule label. First, we'll start with label, and then we're going to try schedule label afterwards. You can edit tags from over here, and you can use a viewport. I'm just going to use the default. You can specify the name on the sheet, and you can use linked files. You can also use a view template, or you can specify the view properties. I'm going to use fine. I will be using consistent colors. You can actually specify if you wanted anything else to be visible as well. These are the settings that I would like to use. I'm just going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click on Save and Close. Before we do that, let's talk about uh, the sheet over here. You can edit uh, Selected Sheets Properties, and this is where you select Sheet Layout Directory. Sheet Layout Directory will take you to a folder. This folder is going to be located over here in your computer, Local C, Program Data, Structsoft Solutions, on my end 2024 because I'm using Revit 2024, Shop Drawings, Trusses, I'm using an Imperial file, and these are the options that are provided out of the box. You can use them to create your own or you may have your own uh, title blocks already. If you click here on Edit Selected Sheets Properties, here is where you can edit the sheet. It's uh, very simple. The sheet name method, it can either be by family name or by a fixed name. If you specify a fixed name, you can add it here. You can add a prefix, suffix, drawn by, checked by, and number of trusses on sheet is gonna be one. This is the sheet uh, layout that you would choose. Uh, you're going to see the options that are available in that folder that we just saw. These dots over here, you can specify the location of where you want to place your drawing. So over here, I'm just gonna place it in the center of this zone. This one is going to be the truss framing at the top. And this one over here is going to be the bill of material and it's going to be centered in the two zones. That's it. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to save and close. And then I'm going to click on generate. Let's check the sheet that was generated here under sheet. I'm going to double click. And this is the sheet that we have generated. And this is the bill of material that we have just created. Let's say uh, you would like to combine uh, members that have the same characteristics under one label. Uh, to do this, we have to go back to our settings. So let's close this. Let's delete this sheet. Let's select one member again and go back to our shop drawings. If we click or select trust drawing options and click on edit, we have to actually go here to the truss framing elevation and we have to switch the label method from by label to by schedule label and click on OK, save and close, and then we generate. Let's double click to check the sheet. And this way you'll notice over here in the bill of material, the labels are now showing a specific name for a number of panels. The quantity is being shown over there while previously the quantity was being shown as one for everything. So each one had a different name and now several of them, several members have the same name. And that's pretty much it for this week's tech tip. I hope you found it useful and we'll see you next week.